You, you know what camera shyness is a real thing. <laughs> We just got to Spello. We're staying here for the weekend um, with three of our four kids. Spello is a super cute little village. It has like tiny little alleyways and walkways with like balconies dripping with flowers and vines. It's really charming and cute. I once saw on Pinterest that it was rated as Italy's most charming village and I pinned it thinking maybe one day I'll go there and here I am. So um, we're gonna try to also visit the town of Assisi. Um, isn't too far away. Our Airbnb that we're staying at is adorable. It looks so Tuscan. I walked inside and I'm like, oh my gosh, all my dreams came true. <laughs> it's so charming and pretty. So yeah, we're just here for a couple days and we're gonna check it out. I have it all over my face, I'm guessing. Yep. It all over my face. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Buying more olive wood. <laughs> Mom, look at this. I mean, you're here, you do it. Look at this. control. Look at these. These ones have handles. We just got to a CC we parked and we're gonna walk around this cute town. It looks very hilly, very uphill I mean, and downhill. I mean, last, but the last place was very hilly. And no, not like this, but look at how charming this is. Oh my God, no. All right, so like Amy was saying, we are in a CC and behind me is the, it's the Basilica San Francesca de, de Assisi, uh, which is the resting place of St. Peter. So he's from Assisi, he was actually born and raised here, was a soldier early in life and became a POW, and then after he was a prisoner of war, uh, he decided to become a friar. He's actually the founder of the Francescan Order, I think it is. I think so. But anyway, so he, uh, after he died, they made this big, huge church behind me. It's the second most visited church in Italy after St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome. Which we did in the Rome video. Yep, so we're going to go inside and check it out.
Christmas presents. Unless I want to keep them for myself. <laughs> it's always an issue. I got the goods. Liam's getting a good calf workout today. Pushing the stroller up these hills. <laughs> So we just got to the piazza in Assisi and apparently there's a lot of Roman architecture um, here. There's some really pretty columns. Cam walked inside this church um, and we're going to grab some lunch. The kids are hungry but unfortunately... I'm not hungry. You're I'm not? hungry. Yeah, they're it's babies. 11 o'clock. It's a little too early. There's a short window where Italian restaurants are open. Then they close again. And they don't open again until 7 o'clock. So, <laughs> we need to find the best time and go. I need to cry, baby. Person behind me. This is what it's really like to travel. It's not all. We don't even have one of the kids. No, we're down one. Yeah, but he's the easiest. Then there's Liam. Liam's very good. Very and then there's smart. me, which they, which I'm terrible. Yeah, every yeah, Ruby's not easy. that you're terrible. It's Ruby's just, easy. You kind of need to stop bugging Liam so much. If I will, can you please let me in the there we go. Oh. Patiently waiting for you. It's so pretty. Look at that. Is it raining? I love Italy. I love Italy so much. I love Italy. Well, I kind of like America too. <laughs> well, you are American. This restaurant that we're eating at is called La Laterna. I think it's called that. The lamp. The lantern. There's some really cool photos of Assisi on the walls. It's really pretty in here. And it's not raining inside, so. We're the only ones in here. Yeah, we're the only ones in here. We have a whole place to ourselves. It's my kind of way to dine right here. Hi. <laughs> and I will, but I just want to go um, back to our old house and turn into the pool while training. Ready to the car and then we're gonna go home, do some swimming, do something else, I don't know. Do something else. The CC was really cool. We loved it. Swim time. Water's a little cold. 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 Trick competition. Let's do it. Right now, we're trying to go to bed, but as you may hear, Everly and Ruby and them are still haywire. And then here's my mom's feet. Very beautiful feet. Yeah. And here's my dad's feet with his rusty, dusty, crusty toes.
we're on our way to see the town of Perugia. Um, we're taking this mini metro. <laughs> I'm used to calling it a funicular. Uh, up to the top of the city, and we're just going to walk around and explore it. Cam's been watching some YouTube videos to find out more information about it. So I don't, I don't really know anything about the city. I'm about to find out what it's all about. Down. <laughs> Chinese. We're gonna eat Chinese food? Yeah. Let's go. And we're gonna play Uno. So I think we may have ordered just a little bit too much food. Not realizing how much food we ordered, they just kept asking if we wanted more. We kept saying yes because we thought they would be small portions. <laughs> what then? <sighs> too much food that we can't play Uno. All right, well, if you're ever in Perugia's Chinatown, go to Wing, Chinese food. It's pretty good. The thing I love about Liam is he's not shy. Like, he will walk up. He doesn't know any Italian, I mean, very, very little. And he will just walk up to eat kids and figure out a way to play with them. <laughs> he's not shy at all. Like, he has a lot of courage. I'm proud of him. I love that part about his personality. All right, so we're about to go onto the aqueduct walkway. It used to be an aqueduct a long, long time ago. I'm assuming like Roman time period or something. And it's all, it's not used as an aqueduct anymore and it's still intact. So they made it into a cool little picturesque walkway. So we're about to go walk on the aqueduct walkway. Are you Max? Hey guys, Get I set. have ice Go. Cream. Me too. All right, we're about to go inside of this old fortress that was built by the Pope in like 1600 or 1500 or something. Uh, so it was abandoned in like the 1800s, uh, but it's still there and you can walk through it. So we're gonna go check it out. This place is really cool. It seems to be pretty intact. I gotta look up why it was abandoned. Man, it's really neat in here. gonna have Cam I wanted him to document where we stayed while we're here because this home is super cute and charming and um, very Italian <laughs> so come along here is the entryway it opens right into the kitchen area which we used we had dinner twice I cooked dinner twice in here look at how large the furniture is I love it 
So I'm gonna take over. So this is the dining room. Cool painting with a CC and Spello up there. Fireplace. Old Italian furniture. These are two bedrooms. This is where Amy and I slept with wallpaper all the way to the ceiling. And that's a Italian air conditioner, which only blows air from outside. It's not actual air conditioning. So it was pretty warm all weekend. This is where the girls slept. Kind of same, same. Cool shutters out there though. Again, wallpaper all the way to the ceiling. Beautiful floral wallpaper. Reminds me of a, a scary movie or something. And then there is an upstairs right there. I won't go up there, but that's where Liam slept. There's one more bedroom up there. And then there's the courtyard, which goes out like this. And then around the other side of the courtyard is this awesome pool that the kids had a blast in. That's our Airbnb in Umbria. All right, now we're gonna go and check out this church and then we're gonna head home. That's it, adios. Uh, we made it to the Basilica Santa Maria de la something or other. And basically it is the, it's the church. Um, I don't know how to explain it. When St. Francis of Assisi became a priest, he was given a church down here in the valley. And then when he became a saint, the Pope ordered that a bunch of stuff that he had been a part of or built or touched uh, be protected. And so they actually built this big, massive basilica over the top of his original church. So we're gonna check it out. Uh, I think the little church was built in like 1200 and the big church was ordered to be built in like 1400. I'm sure I can put a little asterisk at the bottom of the screen with the actual date, but. All right, this will be our last stop before we go home. So apparently St. Francis was the, the one that kind of invented light nativity scenes. So I think that's why they've got these nativity scenes. Yeah, this, this would fit great in the house, right? Amazing. If you're a dang millionaire and you have a match or not. <laughs> but we don't. Really neat church. Very, a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. But really neat history with St. Francis and Assisi and everything, but I think Amy is a little tired and ready to go home, so we're taking off. Hitting the road back to Vicenza. 